Hey guys, it's Miko Dariel. I'm going to do a happy birth, happy one year anniversary video to Camp Cretaceous. Yes, the first anniversary, uh, some first and birthday of Camp Cretaceous. Yeah, the, the Netflix show that came out, uh, yet yeah, on September 18 of 2020, and uh, it became really high in terms of how critics like it. Yeah, this is probably the best received sequel by Rotten Tomatoes in the franchise, and what people call us maybe might be the third best sequel aside from. Uh, Lost World or Jurassic World, whatever. Anyways, uh, I got. I'll show you guys my collection, a ranking of the characters, and uh, my experience throughout all three seasons. So first, let's show off my collection. So I got the uh, four toys of um. Okay, these are McDonald's toys. I don't know if any other country besides besides the Philippines has has this, but yeah, here's my collection of toys and. Here's the Triceratops for some reason. Why is it there's Triceratops? I mean, I get um, kids know Triceratops, but come on, give us Sinoceratops. It appeared throughout all, all three seasons, yet it never got a toy. Weird. In the, in the McDonald's toy line. Anyways, you know what's even warrior? I'll tell you later. Anyways, coming up next, we have Rexy. Yeah, Rexy the T-Rex. Yeah, we all call her Rexy because Sammy called her Rexy and uh, Robert Muldoon from the book called her Rexy. So yeah. Yeah, if, if you, like, move the tail over here, she'll, she'll like, move her jaw, yeah. And it's just gotta put them back in the egg. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna fall out again. Just gotta fix it up again, boys. Fix her up. Excuse that, that's just my norm, okay? You have the I-Rex and Dominus Rex. Oh, by the way, these came out, like, I think one season two premiered. I think that's, that, I think that's when it, that came out, these toys. I think it came out when season two or or season one came out. I forgot when I, when these came out, but yeah. Any of this two. Let's just see the la the best for last and it's adorable little bumpy. Yeah. If you like that uh, if you like mm, do that to, I shall do that little thing. Yeah. Yeah, Bumpy is such a cute uh, cool character in the show. Definitely love her appearance in season two and her fight with Toro. Definitely a great dinosaur. Hope she appears in the, in the fourth season. Maybe she will. Maybe she won't. If uh, maybe she won't, guys, because uh, maybe the the kids won't go to Soren, won't go to New Bar again, won't uh, arrive back to New Bar. So I have a feeling that uh, she might not appear in the future seasons. But yeah, let's move on to the rest of the books. Yes, they actually made temptation books, and don't make any mistakes, uh, guys. Anyways, here's the first novelization that came out. Uh, yeah. This came out a few days after the season one came out, uh, and uh, here is the novelization. And uh, oh, by the way, uh, in the show, Brooklyn never revealed what's inside her jacket, and here's her shirt. <laughs> yeah, they revealed in in the books, but they never revealed it in the show, which is odd. And they have a poster here too. They have a poster on uh, on the show. Yeah, it's a really huge poster, guys. I love it. And there's some pictures of uh, the episodes. Uh, okay, not really pictures so much because there's not really too much pictures of the episodes, but here's Darius, here's Bumpy, uh, here's Toro and Bumpy again, and uh, here is uh, the Raptor Squad from Jurassic World, which appeared in episode 1 of Camp Cretaceous and had a cameo in episode 2 and a little bit of episode 8, and here's Blue again, yeah, all blue as ever. Anyways, volume 2, season 2 of Camp Cretaceous, and uh, yeah, there's the Baryonyx Grim. I think it's Grim or Chaos, whatever. Uh, there's Rexy, there's Darius, and uh, holding there's Kenji holding the, the Triceratops uh, um, walkie talkie that we saw in our, the first episode. And um, it's weird that this shot was in season one. This was never in season two. Right? We never seen the campers all go to the tunnels. Yeah, sure, we did see Yes, Ben, Brooklyn, and Kenji go there. But um, Sammy and Darius were with Mitch and Tiff, which was. Pretty weird that they put a shot in season one, but they didn't. But they put. They, it's weird they put a shot from season one, put it in the season two novelization. Pretty strange, huh? right, guys? And the. Oh, by the way, thank you guys, Pickle Pop, if you're watching this video. Uh, please skip to the other parts of the video because this uh, part will definitely spoil your experience. Because I know you haven't watched season three yet, and yeah, I know you'd be spoiled by easily. But here's season three of Camp Cretaceous, and uh, uh, here. And, uh, yeah, it looks so cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look at the Dimorphodon. It's really cool. There's Blue. Yeah. Main Star. Not really Main Star. Just ha one of the main dinosaurs in Season 3. 
yeah, the main dinosaur is the Scorpius Rex. Yeah, E750 that we saw teased at Season 2. And uh, here's a really odd thing, guys. Uh, at the very uh, like last page of uh, Season 3's novelization, there he says, Who are these guys? And that's the last line of Episode 8. And uh, they never even show Episode 9 and 10's events in the Season 3 novelization, which means this could be the... This could... That could be the original ending of the season three. Yeah, they could, they ended that season eight at episode eight, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. I bet that fans are probably disappointed that there's no dinosaur death, that there's no human deaths, <laughs> if uh that actually happened, that uh, there'd be no episode nine and ten. But yeah. Let's move on to the other books. So um, this is a book came out when the first season came out. Here's Welcome to Camp, and there it's um I only got this just because I'm a fan of the show. And uh, I really like the episodes, and uh, that's why I got this book. It's not just because <laughs> I have a problem in reading, whatever. If you're saying I have a problem reading, dude, have you watched any of my book reviews? Um, I've read a lot of books, you know. Anyways, uh, uh, here's the stickers. They got some stickers, guys. If you're a sticker fan, you got a lot of stickers. But I suggest don't take them out of the book. It'll definitely ruin the condition. Speaking of Rune Condition, this book has a really bad, it's a really bad spine over here. Yeah, definitely a gnarly tear. But, um, I'm still keeping it. Here's the, uh, Hidden Hunters with press up figures. This the Season 2 with Mission Tiff. And, uh, and yeah, here's uh, the characters. Right after they saw the fire, and, uh, they run into the Stratosaurus, and then they, and they hear a bomb. Not really a bomb, just, uh, well, flare, yeah. And then uh, they meet Mitch Tiff and Hap, whatever, and then the, and then they reveal they think Hap is a bad guy, but surprise, surprise, Hap's not a bad guy, Tiff and Mitch are the bad guys, so yeah. Yeah, and uh, that's all for the books I got. So anyways, let's now talk about my favorite, my ranking on the six characters of every episode on, on, on the show. So coming in last place, we have is Sammy, and uh, I'm not saying she's a bad character or anything, I'm just saying that... She's kind of boring. <laughs> I mean, besides her whole motive on uh, going to to New Blight to find the uh, for Manticorp, whatever, for spying for her family, whatever. But then, um, yeah, she's kind of a boring character. Not really too much to talk about her. And uh, I think her main personality is just talking Southern accent like Sandy Cheeks. But by the way, Sandy Cheeks is a better Southern accent uh, girl than her, in my opinion. Anyways, common number five, we have Kenji, and I'm uh, not saying he's a bad guy or anything, just saying that the uh, first few episodes, he's pretty bland. <laughs> he's just uh, the stereotypical uh, rich kid type thing. Uh, kind of, not really too much of a brat. I mean, <laughs> Brooklyn's more of like a... Brooklyn's kind of more mean, I guess, than Kenji at that time, so I guess. But yeah, Kenji's not really that interesting as a character. And uh, season two, he got better, and season three, he got back to where he started in the very beginning, which is one of the main complaints I have with season three. Not a big fan of Kenji that season, but yeah. Yeah, still, um, not really fond of him, just, uh, yeah, at least it's much uh, more interesting of a character than Sammy, right? And number four, we got is Yaz. Yeah, Yaz is, uh, the athlete, and she's, uh, she's a pretty, pretty good character. I mean, uh, like, uh, the episode where she tried to find that, that, uh, that um medicine for Sammy in the third season. Oops, sorry, thank guys pick up pop spoiler. Anyways, anyways, yeah, I like that episode and uh, really like the friendship with her and Sammy. Although I do not like uh, in season three that uh, they went back to the original state. That um why does he why does he still think that uh, she and Sammy are still not friends? I mean we saw that conflict already in the first season and we do it again. What? <laughs> anyways, top three we got Ben and uh, he and uh, I know he's probably probably people's favorite character, but uh. For me, in the first few episodes, he's definitely kind of annoying. He's just the, the stereotypical uh, scaredy cat, you know, Carly Beth type thing. But uh, yeah. But, uh, he definitely becomes better in season two, where he gets all real Rambo and tough guy, like a homo habilis or homo neanderthals, whatever. And uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely like his personality more in the second season and third season, but yeah. We like his character arc in the second season. We like it, that he's no longer a scaredy cat anymore, which means he's on. You won't have to go through like too much screaming and stuff like of course Jurassic Park 3 Amanda looking at you boy and it's uh, number two we got Brooklyn and uh, she's a really a good character she has uh, a lot of strengths in the second season I think uh, that's like her main season guys because uh, she got more to do than Darius and the other characters 
yeah, I really like uh, her her episodes, whatever, like a character, whatever. Uh, she's definitely kind of relatable because uh, I'm doing a YouTube channel and she's doing a YouTube channel and she's dropping a lot of followers and sometimes uh, some people unsubscribe from the channel, which I'm looking at you guys who unsubscribe. Mm, dirt, I'm giving you the dirty look. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, so, yeah, let's move on to number one, Darius, obviously, because uh, he's not just a Dino Lord, he's also pretty smart. He's also probably the most intelligent of the group. He's the only one that's made right, too much dumb decisions. I mean, seriously, in season three, yes, Giselle finds the, the Morphodon eggs and just like. And, um. And yeah, he doesn't uh, really rap too much about it till the Morphodon shows up. Yeah, pretty weird. Anyways, um, yeah. Anyways, yeah, Darius is a pretty good character. He's really smart. Really like his backstory between his dad, him and his dad. Yeah. Overall, that's my ranking on the six characters. Now let's talk about my experience through all three seasons. So, how did I get into Camp Cretaceous, you may be asking. Well, I got into Camp Cretaceous just because of my mom. She told me to think uh, about the show, whatever, that I should watch it. So I went up to my parents' room before I went to bed and I watched the first two episodes. Really enjoyed it and uh, at the end of the episode 3 I was like, what just happened over there? <laughs> and uh, I really want to watch episode 4 but it's um, my time to go to sleep so I... I had to go to bed, so I turned off the TV, and I watched 4 to 8 tomorrow, the next day, and yeah, I had a really good time. Yeah, I let my mom watch the show, too. She enjoyed it, too. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, to season 2, I also, before season 2, I introduced my relatives to this show, and they really like it, too. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, my uh, younger cousin, one of my cousins, uh, she has uh, also the, the eggs, too, and uh, she doesn't really watch Temptations be just because uh, she's still figures, she's still figures out turning four by the way and uh she she is um and um there are deaths in the show and um you can't have a younger old young kid watch deaths in a show or a movie right so that's just some uh things that why she can't watch the show and also it may be scary for a girl like her yeah and it is before season two came when season two came out i was like come on hurry up come on come on come on and uh yeah i was really excited uh, the first time they, I think that was this January twenty second. That's the day season two came out. Whatever, and yeah, I check, I check on Netflix every time. Like I think every hour, whatever, waiting for season two to come out. Unfortunately, it didn't. But I think around uh, uh, four o'clock or five o'clock uh, p.m. and I saw it, and I pretty, and uh, me and my family and my parents had to leave so out of the ha house because we're gonna eat out. And yeah, I watched the episode. Uh, Episodes uh, there in the car and at the rest and at the, at the mall. So, yeah, really enjoyed all the episodes. And yeah, I haven't down. Yeah, for season two that day, I did not download episode eight because uh, we turned off the Wi-Fi before we left, and I did not. So I watched episodes one to seven, and man, was it a joy, joy ride. Yeah, I think the episode I was just kind of a uh, not really that interested that much was episode five with Ben. That's the part where I was like. Um, can we go to the part where uh, Ben just uh, introduces himself back to Brooklyn and uh, Kenji in the in the fourth episode? And uh, yeah, episode five is definitely like a, a backstory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely takes place throughout like the events of when the the kids get um, contact the beacon, whatever. Yeah. Anyways, um, anyways, yeah, I watched episode eight. Really enjoyed it. I think uh, one of the best parts of the of that episode was the. The themes, the theme song of Jessica Parker turning, the you know, yeah, that one, yeah, and um, yeah, I really got sad over Grimm's death. That's definitely like a oof moment. I didn't, didn't uh, shed a tear. Okay, anything. Don't get mad at me, guys. Okay, don't get mad. But yeah, I just hey, hey, Grimm died. Yeah, and good thing Mitch and Tiff got to come up and set the very end of the episode. And uh, let's move on to season three. We're done with talking about the first two seasons' experiences. Uh, season three, uh, I was also really, really looking forward to that season two. <laughs> yeah, watch the trailer again. And uh, yeah, when the trailer premiered, I think it was Japanese, whatever the first trailer premiered. Yeah, I watched it a lot, and I was waiting for Swerve and waiting for your this video about the, um, their thoughts on the trailer. Yeah, yeah, but they're sleeping that time, I guess. But yeah. But yeah, there's Best in Slot, who did like a trailer thoughts, whatever. And yeah, I was uh, yeah, really looking forward to, to the season. And then the English trailer came out, and I watched the old trailer again, and yeah. And yeah, oh, I, by the way, I actually introduced my my two friends uh, to my show, which uh, 
yeah, one of them is um, his Clyde Rexter. Yeah, both of them. I I introduced the show to them, and yeah, they like they love it too. Yeah, and uh, the next one. Uh, and yeah, when the season three came out, uh, I was um. I was at ready. I just saw, watched the first I think, three episodes in the in my phone, and my mom told me to watch it on TV. So I watched it on a big screen, and yeah, definitely enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> Still can't believe how long that season was throughout all 10 episodes, yeah. It's all 10 episodes, guys. And yeah, I definitely was kind of shocked over that the Jurassic Park book reference and the uh, Real Like the Kitchen scene reference again. The Fallen Kingdom reference kind of took me by surprise. Rexy coming back and, uh, and the Scorpius Rex. <laughs> yeah, definitely a creepy dinosaur that should not be messed with, guys. Anyways, that's my experience with Camp Cretaceous and yeah. Happy anniversary, anniversary to one of my favorite shows of all time. Yeah, definitely the best net, Netflix show. <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely a show that you should must watch on Netflix. And yeah, here's the toys and the, and the eggs. Yeah, oh, by the way, these are like Happy Meal toys. If uh, you were lucky, then uh, yes, you would get them. But uh, unfortunately, there's no more of these uh, Jurassic World toys anymore. So I kind of feel sorry for you. And it's... Uh, Anyways, uh, oh by the way, there's actually one Jurassic Park uh, uh, Camp Cretaceous book I don't have yet. It's a book about Ben's adventure in episode 5, which I do not have that book yet. Uh, that's the only Camp Cretaceous book I don't have. And uh, who here is excited for season 3, uh, season 4? Raise your hands. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, here are my books. Yeah, my collection. And by the way, don't look at me with a dirty look, guys. And relax, Attack of the Jack Lantern's book review is coming out soon. And uh, I think it'll be later today. I have to reread it again. Sorry, I, I haven't read it, read it last night. I was just uh, busy watching the Witches movies again. Back, re-watching again, again. Yeah, I had a good time with the first movie. I thought the, thought the new one was just kind of meh. But uh, yeah. Oh, that's a spoiler thought. <laughs> Spoilers, mm, actually. Anyways, um, what do you guys think of Camp Cretaceous? Love the show. And uh, for those haters who are watching this video who hate Camp Cretaceous, watch it again. Watch it again, guys. And you will love it more, yeah, than you used to be. Anyways, yeah. And don't worry, my review for Fallen Kingdom is coming up very soon. Probably it will be uh, uploaded around October or whatever. But yeah. Anyways, yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching this video. And what is your experience for all three seasons? Comment down below. And, uh, yeah, sorry if my comments haven't been turned on before, guys, because, uh, YouTube turned them off, and, uh, and, yeah. And, yeah, please, uh, give this video, video a like, so that, um, and please share this around, and we, so that we can have more people to involve in the channel, and not just have, just, uh, 14 views, whatever. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I, I might be, uh, bragging, whatever, but, yeah. Bye-bye, guys, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Roar!